And friends poured out of the funeral service in Borough Park, many holding on to each other in tears over the death of 10-year-old Blima Friedman. This woman, who didn't want to give her name, taught the little girl at school. I was happy and just we wanting to please and to do the right thing. This cell phone video shows the scene last night. Firefighters trying to lift the Honda Odyssey up to try to rescue 33-year-old Sarah Friedman. She survived and gave birth to her baby girl at the hospital, but now she's mourning the loss of her 10-year-old. I just went to the hospital to see the mother. Um, mother has like in injuries, internal injuries. And Blima was the most loving, special, very sensitive little girl. Police arrested 22-year-old Bilal Guman at 60th Avenue and 18th Street. According to police, Guman, a valet service worker, took someone's van without permission and drove to a store. Investigators say he struck and killed the child as she crossed the street with her mother. Yiddle Pearlstein says it appears to be a tragic accident. You feel bad for everybody involved. You feel bad for the family, for the friends, for the community. The Freedmen's dealt with another devastating setback in 2009 when a house fire trapped and badly burned one of their seven children. Now they're mourning the loss of their daughter and family and friends say they're relying on their faith and community to get them through. In Brooklyn, Emily Smith, CBS 2 News. And the driver has been charged with unauthorized use of a vehicle. Bail's been set at $5,000 bond or $2,500 cash. Friedman and her newborn baby remain in the hospital.